Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath video. And today, what I got for you guys here is a little roundup on a bunch of news that's been circulating regarding the game and the DLC that's going to be dropping later this month. We got a new stage reveal, a new friendship, a slightly new look at Fujin, as well as some speculation that we're going to talk about regarding when we're going to be getting this brand new gameplay that was teased late last week. Now, before we get into everything, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if you could leave a like rating on the video as it shows your support, and I would really appreciate it. So if you could leave a like, that would be awesome. And with that said, well, let's get into this. All right. So first things first, we got a brand new stage reveal yesterday over on the Mortal Kombat Twitter page. They finally gave us an end to end look at the soul chamber that's going to be coming as part of the free update when aftermath drops on may 26 and i gotta say i'm a big fan of the stage obviously a very iconic stage in mortal kombat everyone knows the soul chamber everyone is a big fan of the soul chamber and i'm glad that it's making a return here in mk11 and although it carries the iconographies that you'll recognize from the soul chamber in the original stage it also seems like it's a bit of an amalgamation between that stage and the church stage from mk3 and in my opinion i think that's awesome i love the nuances here and of course with the updated visuals of mortal kombat 11 the soul chamber has never looked cooler all right moving on to the next bit of news we got a new friendship finally revealed to us the nintendo twitter account actually tweeted this out it is a look at kung lao's friendship in mortal kombat 11 so here it is take a look at it I freaking love that friendships are back in Mortal Kombat 11 and Kung Lao's is amazing. I still think Noob Saibots is the best, but this one is a real close contender is one of my favorites out of all the ones we've seen so far. I'm just so excited to see all of them. I wonder even if the DLC characters are going to have friendships because if so, Spawn and Terminator doing a friendship sounds like an amazing concept to me that I am seriously looking forward to. And now next up for our news roundup, we got a brand new look at Fujin in MK11 or at least sort of a new look at the character, the Mortal Kombat Twitter page had tweeted out just a link to pre-order Aftermath, and with that, they provided an image of Fujin that is kind of in their stylized photos that they would normally do with the characters, where it's that black and white, and then some bits of the character are gold, and they did that here with Fujin, although they didn't use the gold, they used this kind of lava-looking orange color with the character, which honestly looks amazing, and overall, this new look at Fujin is great. It looks like he's performing a part of his intro, so I'm really excited to see all this stuff in motion all right that just about does it in terms of the news that i got for you guys today now i wanted to get into a little bit of speculation late last week a couple of days ago we got a tweet from the mortal kombat twitter page replying to somebody asking for more gameplay saying sure let's do early next week as in the week we are currently in and well it's tuesday it's early next week and we haven't gotten that new gameplay just yet although some people might speculate that the kung lao friendship is what they meant when they said this i I highly doubt that's the case. Nintendo is the one that tweeted that. If they were saying from their Twitter page that new gameplay is coming early next week, they're going to be the ones who want to break it to you. So I still think they're going to hold true to this promise. So maybe later today or early tomorrow, we're going to be seeing this gameplay that they were talking about when they had sent out this tweet. And to take it a step further, I think it might actually be tomorrow during a Summer Game Fest reveal that's going to be taking place. For those that don't know, Jack Keighley's running this thing called the Summer Game fest from may to august that's sort of supposed to fill the void that is left from all these major game events being canceled and with it he is doing game reveals and game showcases for stuff that's already been revealed so for instance today they did a game reveal which was for the tony hawk pro skater 1 and 2 remaster which i am very excited about and then if you go over to the summer game fest website it mentions that tomorrow may 13th at 11 a.m eastern standard time which is 8 a.m pacific standard time there's going to be a special event which is going to have a summer game fest showcase and interview with jeff Keeley. now usually if it's a game reveal it would say specifically that is that's what it mentioned on the website for today's reveal so considering that it's mentioning a showcase I'm assuming that it's gonna be something for a game that's already been revealed so to really tighten the tinfoil hat that I'm wearing there could be a chance here tomorrow that during this summer game fest showcase we're gonna see a brand new look 
at Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath, and that's what the Mortal Kombat Twitter was talking about when they had originally teased that some new gameplay was going to be dropping early this week. Regardless, I am absolutely going to be doing a reaction to whatever is going to be showcased, whether it's tonight, tomorrow, or whenever for Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath, so stay tuned to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, turn on those notification bells to be immediately notified when a video goes live if you haven't already, as I got a lot more content coming your way. And with all that said, I'm now going to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Out of all the news that I've presented to you today, which one are you most excited about? The new look at Fujin? Kung Lao's friendship or the Soul Chamber reveal. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments and of course if you enjoyed this video if you could leave a like rating on it it shows your support and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook those links are in the description. Drop me a like if you enjoyed it, leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.